Hello everyone, oh, it's Alligator back again. Today we're going to be going over how to program the Unication G series pagers, uh, specifically the P25 ones. Uh, we don't go over the G1 here. So we're going to go down to Frequency Assistive Setting, go over to Trunking, do CTRS, set our WAC in, DE00, 13B for the system. Site trunking enable, site list is for your aliases, and control channel list, we'll add four control channel lists, 4518, 4518125, 464.5, and 464.55, save. Full spectrum scan if you wish. Um, I don't think you guys were able to see the control channel list. Yeah, you weren't. Uh, let's do this. There you go. So that's what my list looks like. Uh, let's get rid of that. Should I just reconfigure my windows so I can see what you guys are able to see? There we go. Okay. Protocol parameter setting. New protocol. We want P25 trunking. And then if you wish, you can do two-tone as well if you do um, analog, but we don't, so. Um, you can use, uh, you can leave all this just fine. Um, it's just fine as default. If you have issues, go in here, adjust them uh, slightly. Um, if you wish to use secure, you can go for it. Here's the setting to do it. Group ID. Group ID 1. Set that to CTRS. Tone vibrate. Alert tone. I'm going to go with tone 5. That's what it sounds like. Voice storage. Relay control. I'm not using this as a station setup. Add a color red because it's pretty. Two tone. Assign a two tone. And we're going to do six two five and three two five dot one. There you go. Talk group ID seven B seven B. And yet again, here we go. Uh, let's make sure you can see this. Where is it? Yes, please. There we go. There we go. And we want something 625 falls within. And 3251 falls within there. And there you go. So now I'll get rid of that. We don't use phase two. And we'll cop over here to private ID settings. Pager name, pager if you want, whatever, change it, change that, change that, change that to whatever, two tone, or um, realistically, if you're on trunking, you'd be using this. Uh, this is where you're going to set a unit ID. Um, you'd request this. Um, through NetOps, it is right there. There we go. I request this ID through NetOps for the pager. Number list, whatever. You can do whatever. Zone, we're going to do zone 1, we're going to rename that CTRS, knob position 1, receiving mode, uh, select call or trunking, um, talker scan or monitor. Uh, we're going to go with normal scan, rename it to CTRS X ops. Protocol 1 for trunking, binding feature if you wish. 
you know, all these just however you want. We're going to have a tone of vibrate for me. Unread message alert, whatever. Talker bliss. Add that to non priority, priority. Add it priority. Change that to priority because I will come back in here and edit the code plug to add the rest of them and eventually put it out there as a example code plug. Um, announcement group x 911. And there we go. Now, of course, you'd also add in under, um, where is it? Eh. Come on, group ID. There we go. You'd add one in there for um, for the all call as well. Um, but we're going to just ignore that. Um, pager configuration. This is all up to you. Um, I'd like. I, I'd recommend you do out of range uh, for CTRS, but that's up to you. Um, all the rest. This is also up to you. Same thing with um, setting password settings, and now we just have a report. So, yeah, pretty quick to program these because they are just a pager, uh, no transmitting, none of that funky stuff. So, if you have issues, reach out and ask. All right, see you guys later.